A Wicked Man Went to Heaven A Digital Gospel Tract My friend, what you are about to watch is a short exposition of the Word of God about the wicked man who went to heaven. This is filled with very important truths regarding the salvation of your soul. It is my prayer that you watch this carefully with an open heart and mind. If you are feeling hopeless in your present situation, this is for you. If this wicked man was given assurance to enter heaven, you will have the same if you trust the Christ whom this man trusted. Luke 23, 39-43 Then one of the criminals who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It seems unbelievable. Heaven is a holy place and no unclean thing or any form of sin can ever enter into it. Yet, if you will study the following passages, it is very clear that this wicked man was indeed assured of going to heaven or paradise. These are the following reasons. Truth number one. This man believed that Jesus is God. Verse 40. But the other, answering, rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? This is a very important truth, my friend. No man will ever be saved if he will not believe that Jesus is God. He may be very sincere, yet if he believed a different Jesus other than the Jesus of the Bible, who is God, who became man, he will not be saved. He is like a sick man who is so sincere and yet drank a wrong medicine. His sincerity will not cure him. The Bible is very clear that Jesus is God who became man. These are some of the verses that you can examine regarding the deity of Christ. Isaiah 9, 6 For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. John 8, 56-58 Your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. John twenty twenty eight. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Romans 9, 5 To them belong the patriarchs, and from their race, according to the flesh, is the Christ who is God over all, blessed forever. Amen. 1 Timothy 3.16 Great indeed, we confess, is the mystery of godliness. He was manifested in the flesh, vindicated by the Spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed on in the world, taken up in glory. Truth number 2 This man humbled himself. Verse 41 and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. He admitted that he was a sinner and worthy to be condemned. You know, my friend, 
God will never save a man who will not humble down before him. All of us have sinned against the holy and righteous God, and therefore we are sentenced to die and go to hell. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This death is eternal separation from God into a lake of fire that burns with fire and sulfur. Revelation 21.8 But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. The bad news about this is that we are not able to pay for our sins because the payment is infinite and we are finite beings. Truth number three. This man believed that Jesus did not sin, yet he paid all our sins. Verse 41. But this man has done nothing wrong. My friend, this is the good news. Somebody paid our sins. He is no other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Because he loves us so much, he left heaven and became man to die for our sins. Romans 5, 8 But God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He became our substitute who satisfied the demands of God's justice. The penalty that was due to us, He paid it fully and completely. And because He is infinite, He was able to pay the infinite penalty. He shouted on the cross, It is finished! He died like a criminal and was buried and on the third day, He rose again from the dead. He is alive today and is inviting you to come to Him directly and be saved. Isaiah 1.18 says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Truth number four. This man trusted directly on the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 42. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Please take note of this verse. He acknowledged that Jesus is Lord and King in whom he should submit. Immediately, the Lord gave him assurance of being with him in paradise. He did not become a member of any church or religion. He did not call on the saints. He directly trusted on the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Today you will be with me in paradise. Luke 23, 43 One of the promises of the Lord to anyone who truly believes on Him is found in John 6, 47. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He who believes on me has everlasting life. Please take note of the word has. He did not say will have, but has everlasting life. This is real assurance for those who believe on Christ. How about you? Are you sure of going to heaven anytime you die? If not, you have to put your trust on the Lord Jesus Christ today, like what this wicked man did. You can pray something like this. Lord, I understood what I watched, and now... I come to you with a humble heart. Have mercy on me and save me from all my sins.